Hi, Alex Olivier here from It's Kinda Cool at the 2012 Jensen Empire Film Awards. Later on this evening, the uh, star-studded red carpet will be filled with the likes of Tim Burton, Gary Oldman, Ivana Lynch, Bonnie Wright and uh, many more, including a couple of the cast from the new James Bond flick, Survivor's Kinda Cool. So we'll bring you all the courage to the I had a great time going in between us, uh, yeah, yeah, going yeah, abroad yeah. and going sort of beyond the scope of the TV series. Um, do you have anything that stands out from that production <laughs> <laughs> that you can talk about publicly? <laughs> One of my favourite moments of that production is we were in the middle of doing a scene and we dared Joe Thomas to eat a whole bag of like um, Haribo sugary fizzy sweets and in two minutes and he put as many in his mouth as possible and nearly threw up and had the biggest sugar crash I've ever seen a human being hang, have and then had to do a scene. Ask about bridesmaid. Sure. What was it like being well for one of the it was good. Uh, it was it was so nice to feel intelligent <laughs> for once, you know. Uh, no, it was great. They were very very inclusive, and they're all big um, British comedy fans. So we very much spoke the same language. So you survived in the only bathroom. Yeah, I mean, I just got so late. It was amazing. <laughs> Congratulations with uh, five nominations for Debbie Hallows tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, you must be feeling uh, rather well. Yeah, yeah. It was, um, it's, you know, it's a public vote as well, and that's the, you know, we make this film for the people at home, and if they felt it was good enough to vote for, then, then I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. You're involved in these Batman films, but you've also been in the series Harry Potter. And do you like being in these films where you'll see a continuation of a role? It's just something you get used to. I mean, it wasn't, it, you know, it wasn't. I mean, we, really, when we did the Potter, you never really knew from film to film whether you were going to be in the next one. I mean, you didn't know if she, well, she eventually killed Sirius Black, and, and you only found that out, you know, a couple of weeks before filming, where the whispers went around, you know, someone, someone dies in this one, and it was a, you know, when the book was published. And I didn't realise until the book had been published that I was, uh, I, I was, I only, you know, I was not going to be in any more. How have you been to host the bottom? Um, yeah, it's been a really um, great year and a half, I think it has been. Um, yeah, I've been working hard, doing different things, so it's been nice, and you know, we all miss it. But um, it's been lovely for all of us to go on and do new things. And so as the night went on, Tinker Taylor's Short Spy dominated the awards, bringing Best Thriller, Best British Film, Best Actor for Gary Oldman, of course, and closely followed by Harry Potter and The Deathly Hallows Part 2, which was awarded Best Director for David Yates as well as Best Film. The night also saw Kenneth Branagh's Thor win Best Sci-Fi, Ben Palmer's The Inbetweeners win Best Comedy, and Ben Wheatley's Kill List with Best Horror. Further on from Gary Oldman's deserving win, British actors continued to lead the awards with Olivia Colman winning Best Actress for her role in Paddy Considine's Tyrannosaur. Michael Fassbender won the Empire Hero Award and two Britain's Rising Stars won Best Newcomer, Tom Hiddleston for Thor and Valicia Jones for Like Crazy. Tim Burton was won honoured with the Empire Legend Award. Steven Spielberg's The Adventures of Tintin, The Secret of the Unicorn shook off competition from Hugo, Harry Potter, Transformers and Thor to win the Art of 3D Award and Ron Howard was honoured with the Empire Inspiration Award. And so that wraps up It's Kind of Cool's coverage here at the Trans Jameson Empire 2012 Film Awards here in London. Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows took away the top prize of Best Film. And of course Gary Oldman won Best Actor for Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy and Olivia Colman won for Tyrannosaur. Keep it on itskindofcool.com for your latest entertainment news. We'll see you soon.